Here's even moments before the race and was scratched. It'll be an all race. 2B JJ's Cornell. 3C is Brisk Air. 4D is Auburn Brett. 5E is Trader Hanover. 6F is Ivan Hanover. And the scratch of Keystone Progress leaves what we call in the trade a small but select field. And Jackie Lee will call that small but select field right now. Jack? There are about another track. It's all burned right out for the lead after real is J.J.'s Cornell Briscare is third. Trader Hanover and Ivan Hanover as the small field moves around the first turn. J.J.'s Cornell has the lead by a length. Auburn Brett is a second. Racing third by three lengths is Briscair. Down the back stretch they go. That's J.J.'s Cornell with the lead. Auburn Brett forced to take the two hole. It's three lengths back to Briscair third, followed by Trader Hanover and Ivan Hanover. They reach the quarter pole. On top at 28 and four is J.J.'s Cornell. They move around the paddock turn the first time. J.J.'s Cornell leads it by a little more than a lane. Auburn Brett racing second. Briscair third, Trader Hanover, and the trainer is still Ivan Hanover. Moving through the stretch to the half-mile pole. On top is J.J.'s Cornell. He leads it by a full length. Auburn Brett is second. Briscair racing third. It's Trader Hanover and the trainer. Ivan Hanover moving up on the outside. Approaching the half-mile pole. That's J.J.'s Cornell leading it in 59-1. and one. Auburn Brett is second. To the outside, Briscair is third. The trainer is Trader Hanover, Ivan Hanover. They head down the back stretch the final time. J.J.'s Cornell leads it by full length. Auburn Brett at the rail is second on the outside. Briscair is a close of third. Moving on the outside, Ivan Hanover fourth up the rail. Trader Hanover fifth. They're up the three-quarter pole. It's J.J.'s Cornell leading it by an open lane. Auburn Brett second. Briscair outside third. Three quarters. 128 and four. field in 157-4, holding off a late bid by Trader Hanover. Now back to Stan Bergstein. Impressive. J.J.'s Cornell wins his fifth victory of the year and sends his earnings over the $100,000 mark. Owned by John and Charles Turner of Kentucky and Gus Dovi of New Jersey. Trained by John Turner. Driven by John Patterson Jr. as 2B. J.J.'s Cornell pays $10.60, and $3. 5E Trader Hanover, $5.60, 3.40. 3C Brisk Air, last week's winner in the Open, $2.60 to show. An impressive victory, and we'll get the story firsthand as Spencer Ross talks to Sonny Patterson. It's not a matter of just going out and driving a race. There's pre-race strategy that goes into it. And as far as Sonny Patterson was concerned, he was concerned about Carmine Abatello's horse. And that first quarter, really the difference in the race, right? You knew you had to get to the front, and you didn't want to let Carmine control the race. That's right. If I was uh, behind Carmine, then I just had to be lucky to get out. This way, if I'm the best, I'll win. Okay, 28 and 4 to the first quarter. You go 59 and 1 of the half, and that second quarter, a little bit of a breather, right? Yeah, not that much, but some. Now, there was a late scratch in the race. Did that affect your strategy at all? Because it was the inside horse, the one that was scratched. But you were going to the front anyway, right? right. I was going to leave anyway. Okay, and right here, nobody's going to catch Sonny Patterson with J.J.'s Cornell. You close quickly, 57 and 4, and this horse has never gone quite that quick in a half-mile track. This track is really lightning fast tonight, isn't it? Yeah, the weather's uh, hot and humid. It makes for fast miles. The mugginess, uh, this is something we repeat over and over again as you see Trader Hanover come on just a little bit at the wire, but not quite enough. Have you ever been able to figure out in all your years why is muggy? We, we collapse as human beings. Why are horses able to go this quickly in, in the muggy? No, I don't know, Spencer, but it, it's that way. Though. I guess that's what makes horse racing because J.J.'s Cornell just comes up with an impressive victory in 157-4. and four, And, uh, Sonny, I think uh, J.J. wants to head back to the paddock. Yeah, I think it's about time. Okay, so as J.J.'s Cornell and Sonny Patterson make their way back to the paddock, congratulations to John Patterson. 10 cents with two.